All right, hello all. Welcome to Mindscape. It's a server ran by me and a few friends. Uh, basically gonna teach you guys, or give some tips on reaching your first million. Uh, basically from like starting an account. Uh, when you first join, you'll start on Tutorial Island, you know? It's like RuneScape, you get it. All right, the first thing you're gonna do is uh, walk into this cave, and there's quests. Uh, I suggest you do this one, because you have a set of stone tools and some starting money, just 5,000. Not that much. Just click the sign, tells you what to do. Uh, basically just do the tutorial island. When you walk over this, it gives you a wood pickaxe. This is one of the features of the server. There's a couple of resource places like this. Uh, well, basically all resources in towns and the ones you find along paths uh, reset every uh, sunrise and sunset. Uh, you can mine spawners with silk touch. We got another one here for wheat. For some starting food. Uh, only the farms on this island have the button to uh, respawn them. Alright, you're gonna make your way up this uh, stairwell. Some more information here. A lot of this doesn't really matter too much. Uh, it's shown in other places. Honestly, you can just skip all this. If you don't want to do the quest, uh, right when you join on the server, you can just do slash spawn and it brings you to spawn. You don't gotta do all this. Alright, now we're free. Right out of the spawn, you can walk over here to the Grand Exchange. Uh, this is probably where you're gonna be selling materials for the most part until you get some quests done, unlock some other shops with higher prices. Um, over here is the player shops. You know, you can sell some stuff here. We try to limit some items to not be sold in uh, server shops, so there's uh, some sort of like player market. This is what we're going to be spending the million on. We have money ranks in the server that uh, scale up. One million is common rank. It's kind of just like cosmetic stuff, some basic, you know, like hat, nickname, gives you slash back. Uh, you get a 50,000 hourly kit. Alright, now that we got the basics covered, we're going to take advantage of those respawning farms. Uh, you walk right out of spawn into the spawn town, which is called spawn. Uh, walk here to the resource cave. You got a little coal and iron deposits. All we really need is an iron pick, and then uh, show you where a few uh, diamond pockets are, and then we can really start making some uh, beginner money. Oh, the first place we're going to go to is a uh, slash warp fan rock which is where we're at right now, already. Go straight this way, you'll find the uh, Forbidden Mine. It's the uh, Banrock Dungeon. At the bottom, you'll find five spawns of diamond. Down this path, you go this way a fair bit, maybe 200 blocks, and you'll find the next patch of diamonds. All right, you'll see this uh, little mine kind of carved into the desert here. Head around to this rock, you know, little hidden diamonds here. And then uh, after this, you're going to be heading down this path, and we're going to unlock the warp to a pretty good town uh, with some more diamonds in it. Now, all this land is buildable, except for the towns. Um, you can build along paths. It's survival intertwined. So while there's all this questing and uh, server side, you know, towns and stuff, you can also be building off on the side. And then when you get to this town, Birchton, you can walk over here and uh, unlock the warp by clicking this button. If you head this way, you'll find the dungeon. Now this one doesn't have a spawner. It actually has uh, much better drops. You'll find diamond and uh, gold, lapis and emerald in here. All right, the next place we're gonna be going is Mord Cliff. This is probably the best place to mine. If you head straight out uh, from the warp spawn, you'll find the Mordcliff Quarry, Mordcliff Mines, actually. So it's a pretty good place to mine. Um, under these gravel patches here, you'll find pretty good resources. This is the best mine on the server, so far, at least. When you're done crafting your armor and sword, uh, we're gonna get going on the next portion of this. We're gonna have quest log. Uh, well, the chat's kind of cut off on the recording. Uh, sorry, I'm like an idiot. But uh, you can see in the hidden forest, there's a quest called the Hidden Error Forest. 
and we are going to go there and do that quest. This is the newest area in the game. Uh, it's still you know, highly under construction. We've got a lot of markers and stuff being built. But uh, this is the best money maker uh, for starting accounts, actually. Uh, it's actually pretty good all around. It's just a little quest you do, and then you unlock a boss, which you can farm uh, repeatedly. Go up to this guy. He tells you to pull this stick out of the chest, and uh, there's not one. You know, press the button. Spawn another one. Now what you're going to do is walk up to all three of these trees scattered around the world. After you got the first tree in the hidden forest, uh, the next one's in Banrock. Now you have to walk up to the tree with the wand in your hand. You play a little sound and you get a message in the chat that tells you you've healed the tree. Now in order to do this next step of the quest, you're going to have to do another quest, the strange traveler. Just click the sign. It needs you to bring him a bucket and then uh, land in his boat there. Alright, now when you have the bucket, just walk over the pier, hop in the boat, and you set sail. Then when you get back to the island, he gives you a bit of dialogue. And uh, now you have access to the Golden Isle, which was the last expansion. And now the last tree is right over here on top of this hill. Alright, now once you've activated all trees, go back to Hidden Forest, talk to the guy once again. And now he tells you there's a demon attacking his realm that you have to go defeat. Just walk back up to this tree with the stick in hand. Now you'll be teleported to the Hidden Forest Demon. Alright, now when the dialogue's finished, you can walk on this pressure plate. You're teleported inside the dungeon. Now what you're going to want to do in here, he has um, buttons on his both of his ears, both his kneecaps, his chest, and his back. And you're going to want to use the wand, click on each one. All right, now, once you've hit all six points on his body, you take this little parkour around to his head. Dome him. Then you'll be teleported back into the room, uh, and you'll get some loot. Now, this is actually uh, the boss we're going to be farming to get up to a million. It shouldn't take too many kills, probably around 10 to 15. Uh, you can streamline it down to around, like, 40 seconds per kill. Well, maybe 40 is kind of lowballing it. Uh, probably, like, a minute and a half. Uh, if you have a feather falling, it works a lot better. Um, let's actually go back and finish this quest. You just come back to uh, Elven Priest Ed once you've killed the demon. He gives you access to the Hidden Forest Demon. You can farm him as much as you want. He also gives you access to a quest that I haven't made yet, so don't go looking for it because it's not there yet. But now that we have some loot from the Hidden Forest Demon, I'll show you guys where to sell it. Selling things to shop chests is only really effective up until the uh, second money rank at 10 million. Then you unlock Sell Hand, which gives you a lot better uh, money per item that you sell. Uh, this is where you sell the quartz. You gain obsidian as well. It's in North Dock. You head over to Miner Mike's store. You can sell your obsidian here. Now that we have a good money maker, what you can do in the meantime. Uh, basically, at any point in your uh, journey, you can store your money in the bank, and uh, every 20 minutes, every day cycle, uh, you get 20 or 0.25 interest on your money. It's a good little way to gain some passive money. And we're going to get on to the next uh, form of money making, which is PVM. We go over to Warp North Dock. This is what we unlocked earlier. And we're going to head over to this cave. Uh, you make your way this way on the map. This is the uh, like golden cage or something. Yeah. Uh, you just walk in here. Now, uh, witches and creepers spawn in here. Cave creepers and some shaman fucking name I came up with. You're going to want to kill the creepers. They actually have very good drops. Uh, they're slower than usual, but they have a much larger explosion radius. So they actually drop quite a lot of stuff. Mostly intended to be sold. It's like really, after a certain point, uh, the abundance of resources doesn't really matter too much. It doesn't really affect your gameplay other than making uh, certain other end game things a little easier, like uh, mass amounts of hoppers and stuff for mob farms. Now I'm going to end off this video with uh, kind of where you want to go from here 
Uh, the methods I have shown are pretty good ways to get to a million, the best on the server so far that I know of. Uh, but in addition to uh, the bank, you can earn a lot more passive currency uh, buying spawners and making farms out of them. Um, I would suggest buying creeper spawners are the best for your money. And just as a uh, sort of a note, you can sell all your mob drops at the mob drop shop, which is uh, nearby Birchton. You walk down this path. A little bit here and you'll find this building it's sort of sunken into the ground a bit but you got all the mob drops here you can sell basically anything that drops but hopefully this has been uh, a lot of good information uh, should make your uh, at least your early game a lot easier if you don't know uh, all the content and where it all is um, but yeah I hope you guys find this guide uh, helpful and I hope to see you on the server at some point <laughs> hopefully Thank mm -hmm. you.